Okay, Marcus just got a bear. Been living amongst the earth and the beasts Back in the woods, just the silence and me My pelts are stacked high, my powders run low And it's well past time this mountain man go rendezvous Haven't seen a fair lady since June Rendezvous How I look forward to you Spring bear hunt 2022. Yeah, actually, I was right here and she was actually up there, so. Wow. 60 yards, I guess, we shot her from. No, less than that. That's probably less than that. It's like 40. Man. 30 to 40. I mean, somebody could, you could shot her with a bow. Oh, that's so cool. And we just spotted her from right over there. Bear buttermilk biscuits, here we come. Hey. <laughs> Rendezvous. Haven't seen a fair lady since June. We watched her for a little while, took some photos, took a little video of her, um, yeah, and then she was tracking south. She was going south, because we kind of kept driving up to try to get her, because remember when we thought that she dipped down? Yeah. And we're like, oh, where is she? Where is she? And then you spotted her again. Yeah. And then that's when I was like, all right, I'm going to get all my stuff. And I walked back down the road, I don't know, 200 yards, yeah. 100 yards. and. From there, I caught one last glimpse of her, and it was right before this other little drainage. Um, so I figured she was just gonna keep tracking along that because there's just all green grass all along that whole hillside, all the way as far as I could see to, to the north. And so I was like, all right, she's gonna be probably just following food. She's just grazing, it looks like. And um, so yeah, so I cut down in through the trees, completely lost sight of her, headed across this creek. Got to the other side of the creek, when I got to the other side of the creek, I felt the wind kind of come across my neck and basically up like right to where she was when I last saw her. So I figured, well, if she just smelled, if that wind just took it up there, she's gone. Like she's just gonna, she's gonna bolt after that. So I figured, well, if she didn't do that, she probably just kept, like I said, continued grazing north down and through that meadow and was probably up by a couple of these burnt trees. So I ditched my pack, ditched everything but my gun. Started hiking pretty quick at a good pace up to there. And um, yeah, I basically like just stopped at this stump and I was like, man, I really feel like she's going at that same speed. She should be like right there. And basically right when I was thinking that, I saw her ears over a log. And I was like, oh. So I just, I just hit the deck. I just laid flat on my belly, uh, pulled out my bipod, <clears throat> set it up. And I was like, all right, well, Again, if she didn't smell me and she's doing exactly what she was, she's gonna continue grazing and she's just gonna pop out right behind this log. And basically she's just grazing, popped out right behind that log and I 
center mass of her center and boop, right through both lungs, dropped her. It was sweet. It was perfect hunt. It was, it was beautiful. Oh man. Yeah. That was amazing. It was just, yeah, it's perfect. It was, uh, all of that is just from like research and reading and podcasts and just study, study, study and also growing up hunting obviously and just knowing winds and things like that. That's from firefighting and knowing, understand all that stuff. Just so much knowledge and preparation. 18 years of hunting in Montana and my first year to get a bear. Uh, first year hunting bear and first time getting a bear. And um, yeah, it's just super exciting. <laughs> And there she is. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Something or us walking above them freaked her out. Yeah. And she climbed up into a tree where I think she's been living. Oh. And it's a massive duck fur. It's huge. I don't know, it's a couple hundred feet tall. Yeah. And um, she's just like latched onto the side of the tree, like looking back over this way, <laughs> and we're up here. Okay. And she, so she thinks there's something down here coming, and we're like way out, completely. She has no idea. Yeah. Just kind of sat on her and waited, and she just hung in that tree and like, hung there. And Sora was like, "No, she like looks <laughs> bigger than a cup." Like she's. Yeah. St. Louis three springs ago. <laughs> <laughs> this bear's as big as me, dude. <laughs> Built these walls with my two hands. That's what it's all about, dude. 